Hey dolls! Welcome to Plastic Chic's Closet. Today we're going to review the fourth W Club doll of 2023 and I think one of the most awaited dolls of 23, which is Redefined Luxury Kiyori Sato. And here we go. Here's her amazing box. As you can see, the box comes in this glorious, almost iridescent paint, but I think it's lavender. Kind of cool. I actually don't have a gift set this size before, so I'm actually excited to have this box. Y'all remember this one was the one that Carol told us that this was a love letter to us, the collectors, and it's going to be something very exquisite. And let's see if she's actually right. And here we go. Ta da! First thought was like, wow, this doll has so much. And I think Jesse kind of outdid himself here. First, let's start with the fashions. The fashions are just so amazing on this doll. Like, look at all the accessories that it comes with. As you know, I love good accessory. Let's just immerse ourselves with the details on these clothes. Like, look at that houndstooth. It's such a statement piece. And look at the little purse. The black purse with a gold chain. The thigh-high boot with an intricate golden heel. And can we just admire this glamorous sheer polka dot gathered overdress? Oh, this chic black tweed skirt with the thigh high slit, everything. And these thigh high boots that comes with, with the intricate gold detail, the little bra and panty set with a lace trim bow, all this jewelry. Oh, look at her face, that dress again. Mm. On to my favorite part. Let's go ahead and unbox her. Let's get her off the box. Yes! Alright, as you can see here, she comes with that separate beige corset teddy. And that teddy comes with a glamour sheer polka dot gathered overdress. Oh, just gorgeous. I must be honest, I really don't like taking dolls out of the box because it's such manual labor and my hand just doesn't agree with me sometimes all right now here's a bit of a closer look curie out of the box let me focus the camera a little bit there you go as you can see her face stunning but i think her head might be a little too big for this body i wish they did a little bit of adjustment but i think she's still gorgeous even though she's giving brat's head Now here's a little bit of a closer look of that sheer polka dot gathered overdress. It's giving luxury. It does really suit what she's called. I really love it. Alright, let's examine this shirt dress a little bit more. It has a little bit of a felt polka dot feel. It's shedding a little bit, so I would watch out for that. And of course, she comes with one of my favorite stands, which is the clear stand. I wish they all would just come with clear stands. And there's the little, what are those, sunglasses. Now that she's out of the box, let's put her aside. But I'm kind of obsessed with this tool dress of hers i just can't wait to restyle it and try to put it on other dolls i wonder if i could iron this we shall see all right let's pose her a little bit so that she looks good on the side so she could be a little bit of a background muse while we try to look at some of her other fashions so kiori let's set you back there for now all right all right, now let's start examining the accessories and clothes that she comes with. As you can see, there's that brown panty set, there's a jewelry, there's that jewelry box that we remember. There's those tie-high 
boots with the chain gold link heels. Very Chanel. I think that's what they're going for. Very luxury. And here's the matching black tweed jacket and skirt with a thigh high slit. And it has a little bit of a cuff and collar. And look at those safety pin detailing. I just love them so much. And of course, the luxurious houndstooth statement coat. I remember from the photo that it has this amazing lace up back detail. I can't wait to actually show that to you all. Okay, let's start analyzing some of the clothes that she comes with. Here's that bra and panty set with a lace trim and the little bow details are really, really so cute. I really love those little details that Jesse puts an effort in. And here's that thigh high boots with a really intricate golden heel. But I really see this breaking in like maybe after a month or so, especially if you use it a lot. And this is that jewelry box. Let's see if we can open this. I'm a little bit of a brute sometimes with my things, so I'm a little scared that will break this. But beautiful purple lining inside. And it's actually not leather, so I feel like this actually won't peel after a couple years. So great. And here's that black purse with a golden chain, very Chanel, very old money, very rich. And see if I can open it. All right, this is a little bit of a struggle. Okay, I give up. I don't know how to open this. Oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> okay, what's next? It's gonna be the first set of jewelry. I think there's three total sets of jewelry that she comes with. That was the gold one. And this is the silver one. And the last one, I believe, is going to be... I think it's a set with an earring. And that's the necklace that goes inside the jewelry box. Alright, next one is the sunglasses. And the sunglasses comes with a bangle. And here is the ring box. Inside from the thigh-high boots she also comes with the black pumps with the little bow details on them they're actually very cute i actually have a lot of favorite pieces in the set and this is one of them this is the tweed suit combo jacket plunging neckline blouse with a thigh high slit and really great pin detail oh, this is just awesome this next one is probably one of my favorite is this is the luxurious houndstooth statement coat and look at the lace up back detail gorgeous it just reminds me of Carl Lagerfeld's last collection for Chanel and let's not forget about the removable black belt and that gold buckle oh, amazing so here you guys go this is a close-up of all the things that Kiori's set comes with the dress the coat outfits the doll herself do you guys think this doll was worth $2.99 honestly I am very excited about this doll I hope you're excited as well and I hope you get her this week as well so you have something to photograph this weekend and if you did enjoy my video today please consider subscribing if you don't want to subscribe just go ahead and like this is Plastic Chic. Until my next video, talk to you guys later.